I'm a back. All right, we're going to part two on this right here. And what we're going to do is we're going over the different types of radiation here, different types of radiation so that you can understand this here. Um, uh, so again, types of nuclear radiation, uh, nuclear radiation come in two forms and it, or sometimes a combination of both. And that's either in particles or matter, particles and matter. Or, R, or matter, or they can come in the form of energy. All right, energy in the form of electromagnetic waves. All right, uh, there are three types of naturally occurring decay. The first one is called an alpha decay, all right? Alpha decay is a type of nuclear breakdown where it produces smaller, uh, a smaller, more stable nucleus. and an alpha particle. You might ask, what's an alpha particle? All right, good question. An alpha particle is something that's composed of protons and neutrons and no electrons. and has a positive two charge. It has two protons, in fact, and it has two neutrons. All right, and so that's what it is. It's a little particle that has zero electrons. Alpha particles can be harmful. And this is starting to get to where we talk about radiation and it's bad. Well, this is where one example, it could be bad. If it, these particles got onto your skin or got onto another part of your body, uh, they could, um, these things can cause changes in the chemical bonds or changes in the chemical bonds of your DNA. And that could cause mutations. That's why they get those scientific weird things that radiation, these uh, alpha particles can cause interference with chemical bonds and therefore cause mutations in the DNA. Um, alpha particles can be harmful, but if the thermal, if nuclear material is ingested, if it's ingested or breathed in, but it cannot penetrate the skin, that's the thing. And so that's why if they have a nuclear meltdown, a power plant is, is broken down, it's releasing nuclear material into the air and you breathe it in, it can still be radioactive inside of you and cause problems to you and cause mess up with your cells and their DNA. And when it causes mess up with the cells and DNA, one of the things that we worry about is cancer. All right, beta decay. Beta decay is a type of nuclear breakdown where the neutron breaks down and forms a, forms a, um, a proton and a high energy electron. This is the craziest thing when I was learning about this. I thought this was kind of weird that a neutron actually breaks down in nuclear decay and to form a proton and electron and those charges cancel out. So that kind of a little bit makes a little sense because positive and negative and they cancel out, make no charge. Well, a neutron does that. Um, and, but a neutron breaks down and does this here. Um, blank particle is a high energy, it's a beta particle. And we're gonna look at each of these in just a second. All right, uh, the mass number, um, the mass number stays the same, but the atomic number increases by one because you gained a proton. You're one of your neutrons turned into a proton. Increases by one. Beta particles are a type of radiation that can penetrate the skin, but cannot penetrate thin metal. They can penetrate the skin, but they cannot penetrate thin metal. Gamma radiation. This is a type of nuclear decay that releases energy in the form of electromagnetic rays. And this is the type that when we go get a electric a procedure, like if I go get a procedure done, like I've had uh, I've had to have some, uh, what are some, what are things? I had a CAT scan, I had a CAT scan last, this last year. And when I had a CAT scan, they injected me with this radioactive material and um, it releases radiation to show where is, what's happening inside my body. And it's radioactive, it's releasing energy 
and that's this is a type of gamma decay, and that and I I um, a camera can kind of pick up this type of radiation. This type of there's specialized cameras that they can pick up this type of radiation, and so this is a very important type of decay because it's definitely used in medical uh, procedures. Um, in this situation, uh, the atomic mass and the atomic number stay the same. It just releases energy. It stays the same. Alpha and beta decay uh, often also do gamma decay. They often do gamma decay. Sometimes they do a combination. They And again, they release, which means they release energy. Um, very penetrating irradiation. That means this is the type of radiation we start to worry about if you start getting to like a nuclear warfare and stuff, because this radiation can go through walls and stuff, this type of, and some radiations can go through walls and it's harmless, like cell phone radiation. My cell phone radiation uses radio waves and that's harmless. But there's some type of radiation that can go through walls also like x-rays and some gamma radiation. And that can give you I can cause some problems, all right? Um, going on over here to fission and fusion, all right? Fission, all right, but before I do that, I forgot, I gotta go over and give you a picture of all these here. I wanna give you a picture. Gamma decay and these each of these types. Alpha decay, this is alpha decay. This is plutonium breaking down into uranium and an alpha particle. Okay, and so this is again the what part of the atom breaks apart when you're talking about uh, radiation? The nucleus, yes, the nucleus. I uh, hear some. Here's beta decay, and this is this next one's very important because this is what this is. Uh, scientists measure this to tell how old some some living species and things are and artifacts are based on how much carbon they, fourteen they have. Carbon is in a lot of living things, as we know. All right, carbon will do if it's. If there's some different types of carbon called carbon fourteen, and carbon fourteen, over time, one of the neutrons will turn into a proton. So if you look right here, this neutron, it's orange right here. If you look in the next picture, it's turned into a proton. So you had six protons. Now you have seven protons. That means you change it totally into another atom. That's called transmutation. So this is called beta decay. And it's where one of the neutrons turns into a proton and releases an electron. Now there are other types of nuclear decay, but this is some of the naturally occurring nuclear decays. Uh, one more on those here. Um, let me get back to here. All right, let's do gamma decay. All right, gamma decay. Where are you? Types gamma decay. The gamma decay. All right. So this is yeah. This is the one that they use in um in your in medicine. In medicine, they use technectium, okay, and they will insert it to help make images of your body. And the only thing it releases over time, it releases is energy. Uh, and that releases that energy in your and a camera can pick it up and it go as this as this technectium gets transferred throughout your body it can make an image of the inside of your body and but this when it does gamma decay look what happens to the mass it stays the same look what happens to the uh to the number of protons or the atomic number it stays the same and so again here's another gamma decay the only thing it releases is gamma radiation all right, that's a type of radiation with this here. All right, and so I wanted to emphasize those different things here. Those are the common types of common decay. All right, and again, they're important because again, if something's doing radioactive and it's naturally radioactive, it does these type of decay. Now, some decay that's not necessarily happening a lot on earth and very little on earth, if at all, Mr. Yes. Here is types of decay that don't naturally happen on Earth often. 
here. And the two types of decay that don't happen on Earth often are called fission and fusion. Nuclear fission and nuclear, nuclear fusion. Fission is a reaction where the nucleus of one atom is broken into, uh, into two. Uh, is broken into two nuclei. And it's caused by bombarding the original radioactive nucleus with, uh, by neutrons. And you say, well, again, what's the big deal about fission? This is how nuclear bombs work. This is how nuclear power plants work, is this process right here. When fission release, when fission happens, it releases uh, more neutrons. It releases more neutrons, smaller nuclei, and a tremendous amount of energy. Smaller nuclei, and a tremendous amounts of energy. Um, and the other neutrons can cause a chain reaction. And then that could cause a big explosion of stuff in here. If you don't control it, the other neutrons can cause a chain reaction with the other radioactive nuclei, each also releasing more neutrons and more energy. And we're gonna look at this. This is the process that happens in nuclear power plants. And it also happens in, um, in nuclear bombs. Um, ways fission is used to make electricity or to make, oh, we get to, to make electricity. Uh, we can make electricity to, and it can also be used to produce nuclear bombs. All right, let's look at the process real quick on how fission and fusion is, especially fission. All right, um, this is fission. Fission diagram. All right. If you look, here's a great picture of fission. All right. A neutron goes into this nucleus and it gets really, when this neutron hits this nucleus and it becomes really unstable and it breaks apart into two smaller nuclei. All right. But when it breaks apart, it makes those smaller nuclei. It releases huge amounts of energy and it releases more neutrons. And then those neutrons go hit other nuclei and make them unstable and they break apart and release energy. So fission releases smaller nuclei, more neutrons and energy, all right? And this process can be used to power uh, an electroplate, again, uh, power, provide electricity and, and nuclear power. We're about to see how that works real quick. All right. Um, and so that's what we're trying to emphasize. Um, and that's nuclear fission, all right? Going back over here, nuclear fusion is just as important because fusion, in fact, scientists are trying to figure out fusion right now is where two or new, more nuclei combine to make a larger nucleus. This happens in stars. This happens in stars. And this is how stars give off all the energy. That's how we get life here on Earth is because of a nuclear fusion reaction that's happening 93 million miles away called the sun, all right? Um, nuclear fusion uh, makes a larger nucleus, thereby releasing tremendous amounts of energy. Happens... Uh, happens in stars like the sun. Um, in the core of the sun, hydrogen nuclei combine to make larger nuclei, usually helium, and release in tremendous amounts of energy. Also used to make some, um, to make, I don't know what that one is. Oh yeah, some nuclear bombs. Some nuclear bombs now use uh, use uh, fusions. All right, they use fusion, nuclear bombs. So they actually start with uh, the hydrogen bomb uses nuclear fission, and then it uses nuclear fusion, and it makes a really wicked explosion here. 
All right. Um, and so here is nuclear fusion. Here's the process of nuclear fusion. Let me look at that. So let's look at that real quick. Fusion diagram. And scientists are trying to figure this one out right now because if they do, they could uh, they could release again. They could pops use it for uh, of making electricity again because that heat energy is going to be very valuable. You'll see in just a moment. All right. And so here is fusion. I wanted to use this picture here. These two types of atoms. These are two types of hydrogen. They come together, and they make they come together in strong reactions and collide together and they make helium. And when they do that, they also release another neutron and they release tremendous amounts of energy. All right, so let's go back over here. All right. Um, again, two more nuclei come together. They, um, what, does that, what does it release? I'm gonna add something real quick. Uh, the products of fusion. The products of nuclear fusion are what? Helium nucleus, neutron, and energy. That's why it's so valuable because it can produce huge amounts of energy. And if you've seen Spider Man 2, where Dr. Octopus said, the power of the sun in my hands. And he was talking about nuclear fusion. He was trying to make electricity through that. All right. And so that's what he was trying to do right here. Um, I'm going to stop it with right here and we're going to do one more video and that will make us for all these here. All right. See you later.